at around 5.19 a.m. this morning, uh, the 10th of December 2017, police uh, from uh, Eastern Adelaide responded to reports of a group of males fighting at the corner of Hindley Street and Moffat Street. Um, on arrival, police located a male uh, who was um, uh, unresponsive uh, despite efforts of CPR with the assistance of SAS. Unfortunately, he did not revive. He was pronounced uh, deceased at that particular time. Uh, detectives from Eastern Adelaide CRB, uh, along with major crime investigators, a short time uh, earlier, uh, later had uh, arrested a male from uh, Kingswood. Uh, he's a 22-year-old male. Uh, he's currently being charged at the City Watch House with manslaughter. Um, he is, uh, will appear at the Adelaide Magistrates Court tomorrow. Um, the deceased male is also a 22-year-old male from Glendor, um, and his uh, next of kin have been advised. Um, this matter is currently being investigated by Eastern Adelaide CRB, uh, as it's the early stages of the investigation there is still, still a significant amount of inquiries that are currently being undertaken to establish exactly what actually occurred. Um, the investigations, as I said, are continuing. Uh, we are seeking the assistance of the public, particularly, and I'll give you some certain times, if uh, anyone was in the vicinity of Hindley Street and Moffat Street uh, between 5.15 a.m. and 5.25 a.m., uh, if they could contact Crime Stoppers, if they know anything, if they have seen anything, or they may have any information in respect to this matter. I'm also seeking the assistance of any persons, uh, taxi drivers or any other persons who might have uh, provided a form of conveyance to either a group of males or a single male, either from that vicinity or somewhere south of that vicinity to any area between those times. Uh, to contact police or to speak to Crime Stoppers. Um, we also would like to stress that this was as a result of an interaction between two groups. Uh, it wasn't a random um, attack on a particular person, but it's still unclear whether the two groups were known to each other at this stage. Um, so if there's any questions, I'll try and answer <coughs> as much as I can, bearing in mind that because we've charged someone, they'll be currently before the courts tomorrow. So I might be restricted in what I could tell you. Is there any indication the weapon was used? There was no weapons at this stage. Like I said, we are analysing uh, a number of uh, CCTV, a number of statements. We still uh, need a lot more information to come through. But at this stage, there doesn't appear to be a weapon, but that is not being discounted at this stage. Uh, he was arrested at Kingswood. At his home? Uh, I'm not able to confirm that at this stage, but it was an address uh, at Kingswood that he was arrested at. Are police um, investigating whether it's potentially a one-punch death? Um, uh, at this stage, uh, there are... We're establishing the CCTV to try and establish what exact exactly occurred before. Whether Because it was a fight, we're trying to establish whether it was a one punch or a series of punches or whether it was a fight that resulted in, in someone being hit. And how many yeah. people were involved? A, a large group. At this stage, there are two distinct groups of people, uh, one smaller than the other. Uh, I can't go into the numbers at this stage because we're trying to piece together uh, a lot of CCTV. Are you able to even say sort of like what percentage of people? Um, we, we know there is one group of probably about 10 people and there's probably another group of a smaller number at this stage. Possibly about roughly 10 on a couple, 10 on two, we've heard on a couple of people. Is that sort of um, in the ballpark? Yeah, look, it could uh, probably not two. There would be a bit more. But bearing in mind it, it is such a busy time of the night, uh, people are leaving the vicinity at that time. So how many actually involved in the fight? That is being currently being uh, analysed by police. Was the deceased Sorry, say that again. Yes. Are you still looking for um, people that are potentially involved? Yes. Yes, so we have not identified everyone at this stage. Uh, there, as I said, it's a large group. Uh, we are working through those inquiries at this stage to try and establish who is in that group. There are a small group of uh, people that are currently uh, speaking to police, as I speak to you now, who are trying to assist us with our inquiries. Uh, we are hoping we'll be able to establish a better picture 
of who belonged to which group. What yeah. is the site speaking in? We're unable to establish that at this stage. Uh, we're not sure if it, if it began previously during the night in another location or whether it actually started at that location. But it was, uh, the, the, the attack and the assault itself was quite quick. Have you had similar life experiences as well? Because I assume they probably have had them. Do you know where they were? No, not at this stage. Look, I would presume they probably may have been at a licensed pre premise, whether it was in the city or whether they had been anywhere else and then come in, or whether they were at a party and might have come in. I'm not able to establish that at this stage. Was there any connection um, further down Crown Street? There was an area cordoned off um, outside a kebab shop and cheese lounge. Is that linked to the same no, event? No, no. They're not connected? No, not connected, no. I understand that that was another serious assault that happened down there earlier. Are you able to tell us what happened? Uh, not at this stage. In, in relation to this, there was an assault, not connected to this matter, uh, but it was a different assault involving a different group. Uh, at uh, uh, at the KFC mm -hmm. or outside in that vicinity. And what injuries are sustained during that abuse? Uh, we have one male who's uh, got some injuries to his uh, upper body. Is that what you used to make? Look, I can't tell you at this stage, or oh, I don't know uh, at this stage whether there was. There's nothing to establish whether a weapon was used at this stage, mm -hmm. but we don't think it's a, it's a big group. We just think it was two males fighting. Uh, and one ended up with uh, some injuries to the upper body as a result of that incident. Do you know how old he was? No. From a police perspective, how disappointing is it that a night out has ended up so violently and in an arrest that long? Look, it is very disappointing, more for the family, okay, because what we have here is a violent attack on a young man. It's a senseless attack that didn't need to occur. Uh, what we have now is a family who's probably very, very devastated by the loss of a loved one. We also have the loss of another young man, you know, a 22-year-old who's currently deceased. Uh, and, and I'm sure it's bound to have a, a massive impact on his family. And I probably reiterate again, you know, in we do not have uh, violence in our society. There's no place for it in our society. We encourage young people to go out and have a good time and go home safely. That is the message. Uh, you know, we do not want these sorts of incidents that happen, that happens because it's, uh, it's all there, are, there are no winners in these sorts of matters. It is, it's a loss all the way around, you know, because we do have uh, a family currently devastated, uh, you know, who have to uh, uh, deal with the trauma of losing a loved one in such uh, poor circumstances. And what can you tell us about the deceased? Are you releasing his name? Uh, not at this stage. Uh, uh, I need, to, we uh, have to speak to his family. His family's been advised. Uh, they do not live in Adelaide. So till we actually meet with them and we have our victim contact officer assist them with any uh, assistance, that's the priority to making sure that they are being provided assistance because it is terrible news. Uh, based on that, we will then decide, make a decision in releasing further details and respect to him. Uh, the charged man is cooperating with police. He has provided us uh, some information uh, that we are uh, now investigating in relation to trying to establish what exactly occurred. Um, that's <coughs> all I can say at this stage, unfortunately. Are police going to be boosting patrols in, in the vicinity of Pinewood Street now? Obviously, we're coming up to the festive season where people are going to be out and about. Are there plans to perhaps have more patrols? Th there are always more patrols on a Friday night, Saturday night and Sunday night in the CBD. Uh, patrols not just from Eastern Adelaide, but you have mount patrols from State TAC Response Group, you know, from Mounted Operations, from Dog Operations and STAR, uh, you know, working most often these nights. Uh, you know, the, it's just the behaviour, it's poor behaviour. And, you know, whether we could have uh, avoided something like this occurring uh, is, is a question, uh, you know, that we will have to look at. But this comes back to, you know, single male responsibility for their actions. At this stage, do you, or from what you've seen so far, do you expect to make more charges or more arrests, um, or is it looking as though it's, um, you know, with this man's death? Look, anything, anything is a possibility. Uh, as I said to you, it was a large group. So we really need to see what role each one played within that group. Uh, we have a team being put together at this stage from Eastern Adelaide with the assistance of Major Crime. Uh, we will analyse 
every piece of footage that comes in. That's where we are seeking, you know, for further footage to be released to us. If there anyone has a dash camera or anyone uh, recorded anything on their mobile phones, to let us know. And if if there is someone has committed a criminal offence, we will be taking action in re in respect to that person. Sorry to go back to this, uh, this question about DC patrols, but just for clarification, I know you said that police do have more patrols on Friday and Saturday nights, yes. but will there be more on top of that as well in the lead up to Christmas? There's, there is always more patrols yeah, in the lead up to Christmas. Can they do more normally? Are, they, are you going to still boost that now even more so? Yeah, we have different operations that are running. You know, there are traffic operations that are running within the vicinity. There are a lot of drink driving operations that are running. Uh, in the lead up to Christmas, there's a bigger presence, uh, you know, on the roads. Uh, not just on the roads, but within the vicinity of, uh, you know, licensed venues and stuff like that. Uh, and it's also engaging and working with the licensees in terms of, you know, the service of alcohol, uh, you know, and responsible behaviours as well. Did the charge man hand himself in to police? No. Uh, police uh, attended at a location after a number of inquiries and arrested him at that address. Did the media, like, ex show anything uh, you know, as to whether the lookout laws are effective? Um, look, you know, I, I'll have to, to, to go back and actually get you some stats. We can provide that information to you in terms of stats a bit later. But we always hope, you know, that the lockout laws have been effective in terms of we have seen a reduction in, in these sorts of incidents. This was, an, this was an incident that didn't need to occur. When you look at the timings of it, it was a time when most people are, have already lef left the CBD and are probably heading home at that stage, yeah. Well, could there have been an update on the bus station travelling from Friday night meaning that <coughs> the street bus station? Do you have any more information about that in terms of whether, what, whether it was definitely was a screwdriver or...? I can't go into the weapon use, but I can give you an update and to say that uh, the Eastern Adelaide CRV are working on that matter as well, mm -hmm. uh, trying to establish what exactly occurred. Uh, you know, we have a version of events uh, from uh, the female. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're just trying to piece together again what led up to any particular altercation and the type of weapon that might have been used.